What's up guys, my name's Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching me slowly descend into madness. Today we're gonna be talking about my favorite bass processing plugins. I use them virtually in every single track in some form or fashion. We're gonna try to use them all at once for this specific song. Here's the drop in question we're gonna be working on. We're gonna be working on this sound specifically. <laughs> So we want just this sound, which it doesn't sound bad. It just doesn't sound great. Let's get into the first plug in here. Before we do that though, if you guys enjoy this content, if you learned something, consider clicking like on the video and subscribing. And if you need help finishing your music, go grab the finishing music checklist in the description of this video. It's absolutely free. It'll help you finish some more music. Now let's work on this bass here. The first plug in is, and if you guys watch my channel at all, you know that I love the amp for bass processing. Here's how it sounds. So we'll, let's do a little before and after here. When you put on the amp, it's gonna default to mono, which if you have any sort of stereo information, you're gonna wanna switch that to dual. And usually if you're working with a lot of low end, if I switch it to like lead or something, it'll be almost too blurry and messy and distorted. Now there's like a time and a place for that. Sometimes you'll want that sort of tone and texture, but for me, I just want the bass. I want that treble up, that mid that mid and bass down because I have a dedicated sub up here. And I bring that presence and treble up and bring the dry wet to around, you know, 30, 40%. And it adds this nice little crisp texture on it. So that's the first one. We're off to the races. The next one is disperser. What this does is it adds sort of a lasery, phasey effect to the bass. Let's listen without and I'll turn it on and off. You just find the note that your song is on, for in our case it's E. It gives it a little bit of like a jolt, jolt, which is what we're after. All right, next, obviously, OTT. Using it all the time. I'm usually bringing the time all the way up and the amount down some. I don't want it to be too intense and and overwhelming because if it's all the way over here the the compressor's release time i believe it's the release time it just takes away all of the punch out of it so i bring the time all the way up just, without. just adds a little bit of crispness to it um, and then right here the erosion this is a great one what this does is it adds noise in specific parts of your song. If you wanted to like widen this and ha add noise all in the upper registry here. I like to make it small and right here at the top, just to add a little bit of sizzle. Then we have the vocoder. Vocoder is really popular right now for processing basses. I've got, you can see I've got the lows kind of brought down a little bit, and then we can sort of play with the depth, the formant, and the dry wet, and just sort of dial in our settings till we get the vibe that we want. <laughs> And then lastly, this guy right here, the Virtual Riot Fat Rack. If you've ever heard of this, like I found this on Reddit a while ago. It's I'm sure it's still available, still for free out there somewhere. Um, it's just a great rack. I mean, listen to the difference before. Now let's listen in context with the rest of the song. Without the effects. Lots of really cool techniques that can be used across a multitude of bases. Not just specifically this one. Anything with a lot of low end, all these techniques work pretty well for shaping it into something cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.